Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is John, the RPG Lord. Today we're going to talk about making a jungle adventure, or starting a jungle campaign. One of the biggest things about D&D, or any other tabletop role-playing game, is that in your mind you can travel to any place you want, even places that don't exist in reality. Now, one of my favorite places is sending my players into a jungle. Jungles have this mystery about them that they can be lost cities, sunken treasures, and all this kind of stuff. All of that is in a jungle, but one of the reasons I love doing is because the amount of challenges that the purity environment gives, it, that is something very special. Now, survival is probably your player's biggest thing. This is an area far away from civilization, and they obviously have to find a way how to make it. First of all is the temperature. Jungle temperatures range in, in the 80s and 90s. You have to deal with humidity, which means you're dealing with dehydration. You can put that in you have to deal with disorientation. Every tree looks the same and they don't know where they are going so you can easily send them from... They are not familiar with the strange trees and the strange flowers that grows there. All of that kind of stuff can be used to make them disoriented. And of course then there's the bugs. Everywhere there are bugs when they sleep. They are infested by them. When they eat, they are all over their food. Make sure that you include that. Make sure that they are miserable because of that. Now, what are some other challenges that you can put in? False floors and quicksand. Quicksand is a beautiful way to create a diversion that they are not prepared for, especially when all of them get stuck in quicksand at the same time. Now, one thing that many people don't know there's lots of wildfires why well jungles have rain constantly and the high humidity creates lightning so it is very possible that a wildfire starts and burns out that itself could trap the players or could direct them where you don't want them then of course there's flooding flooding can wash them away can block accesses can do all kinds of things yeah, I think so. Use flooding liberally, and the good thing in the jungle, you can use that at any time you want. Why? Because in a tropical jungle, it rains almost every day. So knock them out with your with your flooding. And then, of course, there's carnivorous plants. Well, while they do exist in real jungles and the fantasy world, they're a little larger, a little meaner, and a little more hungry. So by all means, now it doesn't have to be one large plant, it can be many, many small ones. Or you can have pet plants that by their smell make the players fall asleep and then they are slowly being devoured by the plants. So plants can be mean, absolutely mean if you make them mean. I talked about the bugs, well, not only or they are absolute nuisance and some of them can hurt you, but they spread diseases. That's when you throw the constitution rolls in. That's where you give them stuff that they absolutely utterly hate. Maybe turn it into adventure. They have to find, or a side quest, they have to find the cure from whatever is ailing them from a local village and they have to do something. So diseases are a good thing. And of course, then they have to find water. I did uh, say that they have, that it rains every day, so they can gather you from the leaves, or they can put up some pots. But there's, and there's streams, of course, as you can see in my map here. But remember, the streams are full of earth bugs and microbes. So if they don't boil that, that might be a problem in itself. Water can be super murky. Then, of course, the unknown plans, they have to find food. That can lead to air to quests. In some cases, they might have to build shelter. 
to get rid of the bugs and the rain. Which bring, eh, brings me to another thing. The rain itself, yes guys, the rain itself and the water itself can be a huge problem. If the human body is exposed to water too long, you're going to start getting fungal infections. Or we have stories about the Ed from soldiers in Vietnam who were wet all the time. The flesh actually separates itself from the bone. So constant exposure to moistness can be being a problem in the long run. Now, what kind of major things can you put in the jungle? Well, it's pretty much anything that you want. You can have caves where monsters live. You can have tribal societies. You have for, uh, can have forgotten cities and, and lost temples, all of that. Or you can have entire societies that live there. Anything is up for grabs. You can make maybe tiny societies that live inside a small tree. All of that is possible in the fantasy world. Maybe an Aztec-inspired UMT settlement, or a nomadic tribe of the Baxis, or halflings that live in the trees, or dragonborns that worship the thunder god. All of that can be made in your D&D adventure. What makes it important is that you create a jungle environment that is realistic it has to be a miserable place it has to be a challenging place anyway that's all i got for today i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel and remember there's only one rpg in work i wish you a good day